Welcome today in this channel. My name is Jeroboam Kimtai. I'm handling a program that is all about electrical awareness. And so I want to welcome you. And first of all, to thank those that have been subscribing to this channel. We, have he we are heading somewhere. Thank you so much. And remember to subscribe for those that are new in this channel. Uh, like, share, and continue watching previous videos. This channel has a lot of videos so far. I think I'm doing video number 33. And this is just the beginning of everything, friends. And so welcome as you watch this channel. What do I have for you today? Let me answer that question. I have a program concerning electrical power backup. What is backup on electricity? Uh, in other words, in a very si in simple words, this is an alternative to the electricity we are used to in our households. Electrical energy that is powered to us by the electrical by electrical national grid. In Kenya, the company responsible for supply of electricity is the Kenya Power and Lighting Company, specifically that small department, that department called the Kenya Power. Now, today I'm sharing about power backup because people have kept on asking about the alternative of electricity that would be better uh, popularly known as electricity that is less expensive. Now, we can help ourselves by paying less bills in this way by having an electrical power backup that does not need fuel. So there's a previous video that I did about electrical power backup, which ranged, ranged from uh, generators, solars, and so on. But we realize generators need fuel to run. And today I am doing a very simple electrical power backup that uses solar energy. Solar energy to help you have an alternative power backup. As long as there is the sun, then you are good to go. Now, for you to have a backup from an electrical, uh, from, from the solar, you need the following. The solar panel, that you that you mount on top of your roof, charger controller, the battery, and then inverter. But I want to share to you, uh, to share with you a very simple machine that has charger, inverter, and at the same time charger controller that is able to help you power your house using solar energy. Now. We have, uh, this machine is in simple terms called solar charger and at the same time also an inverter. Now we have two terminologies we want, we want to talk about there, a charger and an inverter. So what is a charger? A charger is an electrical appliance or an electrical device that is able to energize the battery by running the current through the battery in an opposite direction to that one's or to that one of discharge. So as the battery discharges, you are able to run current opposite to that battery. So that is a charger. This charger is either powered by electricity, and what I want to share about now, this charger is powered by solar. Okay, let's leave it at that and define another thing. Another thing here is the inverter. Inverter is an electrical device that is able to convert direct current to alternating current. And by alternating current, I mean most of the appliances in the house or in the household use alternating current. Our televisions, our cookers, our fridges, and so on. Now, I want to share to I want to share with you this interesting machine that is called electrical charger stroke inverter. The recent one is the one that has been interesting to me so much because I just installed it recently somewhere. It is 
a charger and an inverter at the same time. And this one has the capacity to convert electricity into more sufficient power that is needed in the house, up to 3,000 kilowatts. That is 3 watts, all right? This is what is needed to power most of the electrical equipment in the house, as opposed to previous chargers where we had a 1,000 watt inverter, that is one, a 1,000 watt, that is a one kilowatt, okay? So uh, this one, this machine specifically that I want to talk about has slots, and these slots are for connection of wires. We have inlet, and inlet can either be powered by the solar panel or electricity, and then the outlet that is that is that releases electricity to the house. So this machine is very good because it is able to give you power up to three thousand kilo watts. So you have to inquire around and get that one that will help you. This will help you to power this particular machine. Can help power all the electronics in the house, at least one iron box, uh, okay, at least one iron box used at a given time, and then even the fridge, so that you remain with one. One thing, at least in the house, which is the cooker, that draws at least more energy from the in any particular source. Now, if you are interested in this, be sure to call me in the number that we will be scrolling down there in our screen, on our screen, and conduct me so that you ask me any question that you may be interested in for me to clarify just for you. So remember to comment in asking questions, and also in commenting, you can suggest which topic do you uh, need to be to be clarified or to be handled for me to handle it for you. Otherwise, thank you so much because you've been helping me to serve you out there by giving you little but very important information concerning electricity. So continue sharing and share with other people so that all these other people may be able to be informed by what I am doing just for you in this beautiful world in this uh, in this age and this time and season but remember support me so that i may be able to discharge most of the things to other people out there who may be in need of such a programs otherwise thank you so much for watching and thank you again for supporting me in this channel see you in the next program